name is Andy and I'm on staff here at the Central Coast Aquarium in Avila Beach. I'm so excited to be bringing you another one of my favorite ocean creatures today in collaboration with the San Luis Obispo County Public Libraries. So let's get right to it. Have you ever seen such a crazy critter before? This one sure looks like it would hurt if you stepped on it while at the beach. This is an animal called a sea urchin, and they're a very important part of our ecosystems here in coastal California. Sea urchins are a great example of an animal called an echinoderm. Now echinoderm is a fancy word that scientists use to describe animals like sea urchins, sea cucumbers, and sea stars. Sea urchins are a great example because they really dive into that name. The name echinoderm means spiny skin. And we can see that our urchin has some pretty spiny skin. Let's take a closer look at what makes a sea urchin a sea urchin. Now echinoderms like the sea urchin are a type of invertebrate. Invertebrate animals don't have any spines or really any skeleton at all. But our sea urchin is special. Instead of a skeleton, it has other hard structures on its body to protect it and help it move around. The most obvious of these hard structures are the sea urchin's spines. These are all these hard, spiky projections coming from the center of its body. Each spine has a small muscle at the base that help it move the spine around. Sea urchins use their spines for protection, but also for mobility. You might see a sea urchin walking across the sea floor using its tiny spines like little stilts. They also use their spines to grab onto objects or hold onto things. In fact, if I put my finger in between some of the spines, you might notice the urchin moving its spines to squeeze onto my finger. The other hard part of an urchin's body is a little harder to see. It's called a test, not the one you'll find in school. Instead, an urchin test looks like this. All those tiny bumps are where the spine muscles attach. You can see they have a lot of them. Inside the test are all the internal organs and structures of the sea urchin's body. So the test is there to protect the animal. Sea urchins have a mouth on the underside of their body. They use their mouth to chew through algae, which are underwater plants. Urchin mouth parts are made up of five tiny pieces that come together in the center. Another familiar feature of sea urchins are their tube feet. Can you see all those tiny tentacle-like projections from the center of its body between all the spines? These tube feet also help the sea urchin to walk around and stay attached to things. They have a tiny suction cup at each end to help them hold on tightly to rocks.
Now, one of the most interesting things about urchins is how they interact with the other living things in the ecosystem. Urchins are herbivores, which means they only eat plant material, or in this case, algae. But what eats urchins? Well, believe it or not, despite all the hard body parts they have to keep predators away, there are several animals that eat urchins. Fish like the California sheephead and mammals like the California sea otter all eat urchins. But something interesting is happening with urchins off the coast of California. Many of the predators that eat urchins are going down in number. What do you think that means for the number of urchins that we might find off the coast of California? That's right, we see more urchins when there are fewer urchin predators. And when we see more urchins, what do we think happens to the things that urchins eat? Like kelp. Well, if there are more urchins eating all the kelp, we're going to see less kelp. This is what scientists call a trophic cascade. When something happens to the predators in an ecosystem, it's actually the plants or the algae that we see changes in. Urchins are locked in one of these trophic cascades right now. We see lots of urchins and not much kelp. It doesn't mean that the urchins are bad or evil. It just means that the ecosystem is a little out of balance right now. Hopefully, with our help, that can change. Now, if you see an urchin in the tide pool, you can absolutely say hello to it. Just make sure you do it safely. Touch very, very gently with one or two fingers. Try not to poke. It'll hurt the urchin. It'll also hurt you. Remember to leave everything where you found it when you go into the tide pools. I hope you learned something new and interesting today. Until next time, have a great day.